Hello everyone, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5.4 tutorial. This one we're going to be looking at the new one-click retargeting introduced in Unreal Engine 5.4. We're going to be looking at why we do it, how to do it, and how to remedy some common problems you may have when you start transferring animations from one skeleton to another. As always, click on games, third person, and I'm going to rename this project retargeting 5 underscore 4. Then click on create. Open a browser, search a Mixamo, and it's usually the first link that shows up. You can match your link with mine. You will be asked to sign in, so you can use Google to sign in, after which you will see this interface. Click on characters on the upper left, and choose a character that you want to have on your downloaded animations. In my case, I chose this racer down here somewhere. Click on it to select it, and then choose animations. On the animation page, you have this search bar on the top left. I'm just gonna search for playing here, because I'm looking for an animation of somebody playing a video game, right? Like this one over here. Clicking on it previews the animation on the right. You also have some sliders to tweak it. We're gonna click on download and you can use these settings. So FBX with skin 30 FPS, and then click on this download button here. I'm also going to download this jump attack animation because who doesn't celebrate like this after you've won a video game? No, we're actually going to learn how to remedy a problem, which is the absence of the root bone in Mixamo animations. Because this bone isn't there, you can't enable root motion and you can't root lock it. So download it and save it in the same folder. Back in Unreal, click on the content browser, right click here and choose a new folder. We're gonna name this folder Mixamo. Double click to open this folder and I'm just gonna drag and drop one of the FBX files from Mixamo. You're gonna get this pop-up window here. You wanna make sure import animations is checked and then click import all. After the files have been imported, you'll see a number of errors, ignore them for now. Open your content drawer and drag and drop this dark green asset into the viewport. Click play and you'll actually see your animation playing. This dark green asset is an animation sequence. It's because you dragged and dropped that into our scene, our animation is playing as expected. Escape to exit play mode and let's open the content drawer and explore what we have. This is a skeletal mesh, an animation sequence, a physics asset, and a skeleton named gaming underscore skeleton. This is gonna be very important later, keep that in mind. Drag and drop crazy jump and you'll notice that it's found the same skeleton. So we're gonna uncheck import mesh so it knows we only want the animation mapped to the gaming skeleton. Click import all and instead of getting five new files, we're only going to get a dark green animation sequence, right? Just wait, give it a second here for it to import. And you'll see now we have two animations. And if you wanna check this, you can double click on the skeletal mesh and there's a button here on the top left called preview animation. You'll see two now. So we have the playing animation and the jump attack, the crazy jump. And the only reason this is possible is because both animations are mapped to one skeleton. This means that any asset referencing gaming underscore skeleton can swap in and out of these two animations and any more animations mapped to the skeleton, the way we did these two. Enter play in editor, shift plus F1 to show the mouse and then click on the eject button. This is the problem right here. Notice how the point of origin is in one place and our character is jumping forward. Let's stop the game and open the animation sequence. I'm just gonna double click on this animation sequence. Let's talk this up here. And if I search in the settings here for root motion, let's just gonna type root here. And if I force root lock, we end up with this. This really strange looking animation because of the absence of a root bone. Now you can fix this manually. We're gonna use the awesome Mixamo converter. Just search for it in Google. It's the first link that shows up. Click on the direct download button here and the password for the zip file is underneath this. There is also a red donation button. Give these guys some love. They've made a pretty awesome tool. Save this file in a folder of your choice. Once the download completes, go ahead and unzip it. If you've never unzipped an archive with a password, this is what you'll see. Just head on back to the previous page, copy the password underneath the download button and just go ahead and paste it here. Click OK and then navigate to the folder you extracted into. You're looking for a Mixamo converter dot exe. Double click to open the program and then click once the program is open to remove this splash screen over here, right? So we just click. I'll enter the conversion process. Let's consent and then click to enter the conversion process. You wanna scroll down, you'll see two sets of folders, original animations and converted animations. Let's open the folder with the original animations. Now inside the incoming FBX folder, you want to copy and paste any and all animations you downloaded from Mixamo. So in my case, I only downloaded two, so shift select both of them, control C, open the folder, and then control V. You can see in the background, the Mixamo converter has detected that there's two animations in there. So we're just gonna begin the conversion process and then they'll show up on the right. Back in Unreal, we're going to shift select all of our existing files, hit the delete button, and then force delete. Just like we did before, we're going to open our outgoing FBX and drag and drop a single FBX first. We're gonna reset our default and make sure import animations is checked. 
Now once the import is done, ignore any errors and once again in the same folder that you have the skeleton, drag and drop your second FBX. Uncheck import mesh and that will tell it you just want the animation and you can see there are skeletons here, click import all and now we'll get our second animation in. Let's drag and drop the two animations into the environment and double click to open the jump attack underscore UV animation just to see the results of all our hard work, right? So I'm just gonna dog this up here. I'm gonna search for root. And now when I force root lock, you can see it's doing the proper animation, but it's locked itself to where the root was. You can see this root here. It is locked itself there. Now this is essential for both the cinematic designers and the game designers because you're blending animations, right? You don't want the animation moving around. You want it to be in one place and then using your scripts or using your keyframes, you want to be handling that translation. Let's save everything and move on to the next section. For the first section of retargeting, we're going to head on over to characters, mannequins, meshes, and just drag one of these skeletal meshes. I'm dragging SKM Manny into the scene, right? So we're going to retarget our Mixamo animations to the Unreal Manny skeleton. Now right click on the gaming underscore UE animation sequence and choose retarget animations. Now the source is set, the target is gonna be SKM underscore Manny. Now if you double click on the gaming UE animation, you can see that both of them have effectively retargeted in one click. Now there's two buttons down here, we're gonna click on export retarget assets and I'm gonna make a new folder and call this retarget underscore Manny. Right, click on export and now you have the retargeter as well. I'm also going to export the animations into the same folder and click export. Now why are we doing this? Because we have more control this way. Because we've exported the retargeter, we can make modifications and retarget again. But for now, I'm just going to drag this gaming underscore UE post retarget animation sequence. Let's delete this and delete this. Let's put them next to each other. And I'm also going to show all of you what is the result of our retarget? I'm just gonna put it down here, press the end key to snap it to the floor, press on the play and editor button over here, and you can see our animation has retargeted quite well. This is the one click retarget in 5.4. It's pretty good, saves a ton of time. Now let's press the escape key to exit play mode, and I'm just gonna open the content browser and navigate to our crazy jump animation, right? So Mixamo and we can see our jump attack is here. Now I can right click and retarget animations, but we don't need to, because if you remember in the previous section, we exported the retargeter. So open this IK retargeter, and I'm just gonna expand the pane on the right here, and I'm gonna click on asset browser and double click on jump attack UE. Now because they're both right on top of one another, let's offset the target mesh on the X by 150. Let me click on preview settings here, and let's just dial in 150. The IK retargeter is pretty cool. You can actually scrub animations and double check if everything is okay, such as your foot plants. And once you're happy, just click on this export selected animations button. So I'm just gonna put it in the same folder, click on export, and you can see it's pretty much the same as before, but I showed you how to also tweak things should they not be performing correctly. You can go ahead and select any IK chain. You can actually navigate and zoom in um, to the mesh in the viewport like this. You can click on the change here and change any settings you want for the IK and the FK, right? So this is a way to tweak your auto retargeting. We're just gonna go ahead and save everything and place our animations right next to the previous two we had here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop our racer in the crazy jump and also drag and drop our Manny in the crazy jump right here. So once again, like I did before, I'm gonna hit the play icon just so you can see everything. So the play icon over here and you can see that everything has retargeted quite well. Okay, so for the meta humans, I'm going to click on window and click on Quixel bridge. Now, once again, this may require you to sign in again. In my case, I've already done that. I'm going to click on meta humans on the left here and select any meta human I want to use. In my case, I've already downloaded DAX. You can see there's a green tick on DAX. So I'm just gonna click on DAX. Select the highest quality, click on download. Once it's downloaded, it'll change to a downloaded tick mark. And then you can click on either this icon or this blue icon to add it to your project. After a bit, you'll see a number of prompts to enable plugins on your bottom right side. So just click enable plugins. Don't leave the workstation or your computer unattended. And then when prompted, click on restart now. After Unreal restarts, navigate to the MetaHumans folder, click on DAX and drag this blueprint into the environment. It's gonna take a bit and it's gonna ask you to enable a few more plugins after which one more restart will be needed. Once Unreal restarts, we're gonna click on the MetaHuman. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select DAX here and click on this XY connecting 
kind of joint to constrain our drag on the XY plane. And then with DAC selected, I'm going to click on the body skeletal mesh component on the right here. Now, why am I doing this? Because the body is what everything in the MediHuman follows. But you can see that if I change this to animation asset, I don't see any far retargeted animations. So I'm gonna click on Manny, Control B to reveal where it is in the project and then right click and choose retarget. So just give me a second here. Let's try that again. Right click retarget animations. And we're gonna choose out of the target skeletal mesh, the F med NRW body. This is the MediHuman body here, right? So let's change and uh, select gaming underscore UE animation. Once again, I'm gonna do retarget assets. Make a new folder, call this retarget underscore MH from MetaHuman, right? So I want that retarget asset just so I can make changes. And then I'm also going to export animations as well. So just select both of them, export both the animations. And now with both animations exported, we can select the body and drag and drop this into the Let's just click on body here, body component, drag and drop the gaming animation. You can see the MediHuman is now gaming as expected before. I'm just gonna make sure I don't drag any one of these sub components out. Uh, I'm just gonna alt and drag another DAX out. And once again, click on body and let's use jump attack over here. All right, so as you can see, all the animations are working as expected. We've got one of these sitting gaming animations and we've also got a MediHuman jumping and doing the you know the crazy celebration slash attack as expected and with that everyone we're at the end of today's tutorial so hopefully by now you know how to transfer animation between a mixamo skeleton to an unreal skeleton to a metahuman skeleton as always give us a like give us a sub and let us know in the comments what you thought about this video there's ways to support the channel in the description and as always see you in the next one